Hi, I'm Tom Bella from Triple J. I'm here with Tram Sessions. We're going to jump on a tram, get a but. Gosh, it's not safe on the road, so just take public transport. We thought because the comedy festival's on, we'd hang out with Tram Sessions, grab a bunch of comedians, a couple of listeners, whack them on a tram, and yell jokes at the general public. Uh, so my career's doing really well, so let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please go wild and crazy. Absolutely mental for the loveliest person in the world, all the way from the UK, Josie Long. <laughs> And what is really exciting about it is you guys all knew about this and were desperate to come and then you guys are just like, I just want to get to work <laughs> and then at the back is genuine vagrants <laughs> and we'll have such a lovely mixer by the end of this. I also like the fact that I get the cushy city bit just swanning in <laughs> and then stuck in the sticks and me like Check it out, a pie face! Another pie face! Um, hello, it is a delight to be in Melbourne. I'm here for uh, the festival, obviously. Um, I thought I would tell you a couple of things. Um, maybe I'll tell you the most delightful thing that has happened to me on uh, public transport. Also, I wonder if it will... No. <laughs> I was like, maybe I'll just open the doors and then I could be yelling out of the van driver. It's like, fuck you, mate! Let's race! <laughs> We would beat them, and you know it. Um, I feel like, because there's so many of us on here, I could be as rude as I want to other motorists or other trams or be protected. One person is into that. <laughs> also, this is the best part about this gig. Haven't even touched in my mic key. <laughs> could be liable to a $207. Oh, she was reminded to do it. <laughs> I really like the fact that the fine is $207. Like, the seven is entirely unnecessary. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is the most delightful thing that ever happened to me on public transport. Uh, quite recently I was on a bus in Edinburgh, in Scotland, in the old world, and there was a baby right in front of me, and that was quite delightful. But like, not like when they're still tiny and look like a lump, like a proper personality age baby. And it was just a delightful baby, and I was on my own, and I was just grateful for the attention, if I'm honest. And um, he was talking to me, and I was like, oh, this is so much fun. So I was like, hello. And he's like, hello. And then I was like, how are you? And then he laughed at me. <laughs> like, that was only what a wanker would say. <laughs> and then he took the mic out of me. He was like, how are you? I was like, all right, baby, all right. And then I said, what's your name? And he said, next to baby. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Hang on. I wonder how far up I can. These guys are just allowed to pretend there's not a gig going on at all. In fact, it's quite harsh an atmosphere down there. It's much better. Um, hello, driver. Can you hear me? Hello, driver. Oh, now he plays hard to get. <laughs> can I ask you a favour? Um, if you are uh, driver, if you are sexy, will you say hi, Josie? Happy birthday. It's my birthday. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> no, that was upsetting. Maybe it was because, did you ever do that thing where it says posty, posty, don't be slow, if you're sexy, sign below, and then they... Next topic Ah, now you're telling me that. Anyway, so I said to the boy, the little baby on the... Because I was like, how are you? And he was like, how are you? Like I was an old businessman. And then I said, what's your name? And he said, Stephen McGill. <laughs> baby needs a surname. <laughs> it's not a credit card application. No, he's not a CEO. Don't he? Oh, Mr. McGill, pleased to meet you. And then I said, how old are you? And he said, I'm 37. <laughs> and then his mum looked really worried and leant in and was like, I don't know why he keeps saying that, it's two and a half. <laughs> As if otherwise I would have been like, well, Mr. McGill, you don't look a day over 35. Um, so that was pretty delightful. And it really happened exactly like that. And then um, I had to get off the bus early by mistake and I just had to watch the bus go away and Stephen McGill entertaining someone else and I was like, should have been you and me, Mr. McGill, all the way! Uh, that sounds creepier than I meant. Um, second thing, I got a little tip for you if you're travelling. Do you ever have it, say you get a plane and it's not that far. Hello, madam. <laughs> After you. Yeah. Um. It's a pleasure. She's not even getting off, she's just getting away from me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not... Oh, it's harsh as well, because you're not in a comedy club, so it does just seem like you're attacking someone. <laughs> Isn't that like normally? Welcome. Challenge to a race. Challenge him to a race. <laughs> Alright, mate, how's it going? <laughs> nice car. Nice, uh, nice radio your mate's got. Oh god, are you police? And I was this close.
close to getting his number. That's the sad part. Awkward. I think I should get off and go back though. Thanks for really being queen. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so if you sometimes, you know, when you get off a plane, there's a queue of people waiting to get on that plane for the next journey. What you should do is, as you're getting off the plane, just lean into the queue of people and go, You're gonna love it, guys. It's a great flight, great pilot. You're gonna have a great time. <laughs> they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. And it's delightful. People aren't that into that, but you can do it on a tram, just straight away. When people are getting on, if you're getting off, just. Uh, 116, that, that is what this is, isn't it? 112, well the 116 is better. Uh, 112, you're gonna love it. It's a great trunk, great driver, great route. She doesn't even care. She's, not even, she's like, just sit down, this person. I, I am, um, what I really wanted to do as soon as I got on the mic was be like, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to talk to you today about Jesus. <laughs> I'm here to talk to you today about, oh, now you're looking. <laughs> Um, that happens in um, uh, a lot in South East London on the bus. You get people coming along and singing passionately about religion. And it's always very beautiful and how heartfelt. And it's also always very exciting to see how quickly everyone's like, Oh, Jesus Christ, where do I look? Where do I get a book? So, they, that was just me talking. That wasn't a joke. I just was really much. You know, and then it's once then after that. And also your biscuit is called Tim Tam. <laughs> Um, I should say before I go, this is the last thing I want to do. Um, I thought up a character and I have reason to believe that he's really bad and unfunny because I've been torturing my boyfriend with it all day, right? So this is the last thing I'm going to do, so it's a bit of a gamble, but I just want you to imagine whenever you're going around this following man, right? And this is the man, right? Hang on. My name's Tim Tam! I've heard all the jokes! <laughs> And I fully appreciate that's not a good accent. And if you guys came to England and did the same thing, I'd be like, fuck you, Dick Van Dyke! <laughs> My parents weren't aware of the biscuit. I just want to rent a car! <laughs> Welcome, sir. <laughs> uh, also, then we had a lot of fun being like, hello, is that Dr. Pepper? I'm afraid we can't approve your credit card. <laughs> and then I was just like, the closest one I got recently was Dan Known. I keep you called Dan Danone. No, it's not good enough. <laughs> you don't have that here, do you? You do have no, it. I don't know it's just not good enough. <laughs> I've heard all the jokes, sir! I don't even like these biscuits! I prefer. I don't know any other Australian biscuits! <laughs> anyway, um, thanks very much for having me. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, it's been a pleasure shouting at you. Yeah. <laughs>